The life lessons you learn from your parents are priceless. There are so many takeaways. Brian Sanders is the executive president of Spirit FM. He's also a local author, and he is here to discuss his newest book, Be Like Dad. Brian, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm honored to be here. Yes, yeah, so you have been on our show before uh, for Leadership Endurance, uh, the first book you wrote. This one, Be Like Dad. How is this one different from the first one? Uh, this one is all about my dad. We lost dad in August 2018 to cancer. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to find a way to honor him. I wanted to find a way to pass on his stories and the lessons that he taught me. And so these are 50 stories. This is not a biography. These are 50 stories about my dad. Some will make you laugh. Some Aww. might shock you. Uh, and some might make you cry. But, yeah. uh, but uh, this is an honor of, of dad. What a way to honor him. Yeah. What, what are maybe some of the favorite stories that you have from the book? Oh, um, I used to work at a radio station down in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in high school and a fellow who was about 40 got angry at me one day, grabbed my shirt, pulled me in, drew a fist and started screaming at me. And then when I got home, dad said, how was your day? And I told him, mm -hmm. let's just say you need to buy the book to see what happened. Let's just say dad put me in a truck and dad called his best friend and we were off down Hickory Grove Road to go approach this man. And let's just say that that guy never gave me a problem again. Okay? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a good dad. Yeah. I know. So these are quick. you actually sent us a, a copy of the book. And, and so flipping through, um, these are like really quick little reads. So it's not, um, you know, you don't have to dive in and go deep. At, at, you know, if you only have a couple minutes to sit down and read, you can kind of read one story at a time. Um, how has writing this book uh, shaped your view of your father? That's a great question. I would say that it's helped me to appreciate him more. Uh, I don't think it's until somebody's gone that you actually see the fingerprints that they've left on your life, how they shaped you, uh, how how they lived, uh, how, uh, for example, dad was diagnosed um, with cancer in his lungs, in his hips, uh, and within seven weeks, he was gone. The first time uh, I walked in their house after dad passed. It was the morning after dad passed. We had been at the hospital. I walked in the house and there's a notepad there in the kitchen mm -hmm. in dad's handwriting. I'll never forget this. And I actually have a picture of it. It is to my mom. And it says, if, if the air conditioner breaks, call this person, oh, phone number. Yeah. If you need firewood, call this person, phone number. If there's a problem with the plumbing, Here's the, here's the call this person. Here's the number. There were like 20 different things on that. Mm -hmm. And that lesson told me this, prepare for the future. Dad prepared mom for when he was gone. Yeah. And I've, that's just a lesson that just stuck with me. Like, like how many of us think that far ahead? And that's just, that really just hit me. That's so sweet. Wow, you're going to have us uh, <laughs> looking for tissues here soon. But uh, for you guys at home, if you're interested in reading this book as well as his others, check out BrianSandersAuthor.com. Thanks again, Brian. That was great. Thank you.